for my bride, my beautiful bride. I long to be with my bride now. My place that I have prepared for her is complete. My bride is not yet ready. Her body is submerged in the mikvah. She is becoming ceremonially clean. Her purification is almost complete. Satan himself is attacking her and keeping her from achieving her pureness required. My bride is strengthening now in the Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit, and is winning in her battle against Satan. My bride is hungry for direction. They wait with anticipation because they are the children who recognize the signs in the world around them. My messengers encourage them that soon their redemption draweth nigh. Do you want to believe man? Open your Bible like my messengers are telling you to do. That is what is key now. Examine your every action and word now, my children. You are being watched closely by those who want to find a reason to tear you apart. More than ever, you must be prepared to stand in me and in my truth. If you are never in my word and you do not know my ways, you won't have a chance. You must put on my armor daily. This is what is needed because now this is a battle like it has never been before. If you lead men astray by asserting your own opinions, this will be blood on your hands. Remove your pride. What is more important to you, your self-proclaimed man-made traditions or sharing my gospel of grace? Do not add to my simple message of salvation your man-made plans. You cannot add to something that is perfect and complete. All of my children have jobs now laid out specifically for them. Many will continue on their walk, striving to purify themselves through the Ruach HaKodesh. Others will be led to seek out and find the lost and continue to bring as many as possible to eternal safety with me. Your job now is to find out what your job is. In your quest searching for my answers, I will guide you, but your heart will grow specifically the way I have designed it to grow. Don't ever think you are strong enough in your flesh to do battle with the enemy. You in your flesh are no match for him. When you don't spend time in my word and listening to anointed teachings, the Ruach HaKadosh starves. He is there, but you are not allowing for his work in you. He works in you according to you receiving biblical sound knowledge. He receives his energy to bring you forward in your walk from you spending time in the word. He is quelled when you exist in your flesh. Like sand pouring through an hourglass, your time runneth out. You cannot take leisurely breaks from your walk with me now. You are urgently needed in my plan for you, not your plan for you. Keep focused on Jerusalem. This is where many signs will begin to unfold. You are my watchman and you are led and you are to lead others to examine these times. I give you a sense of dread to alert you to what is coming. You need to prepare and then be silent and wait for their instruction. Your earthly plans will not come to fruition. Only my plans now. My voice speaks loud and clear, but you are not listening. Today starts a new journey. Feed your family in every way. They will rely on you as a source of information and comfort. Every single soul follows its own path and has a predestined plan. You control what you control. Do not worry about so many that you cannot touch. My sheep need to flock together now, work together, pray together, pray for one another, even when you can't see or hear one another. Soon your way of communicating will be attacked. Please say what you need to say soon, as there is not much time left. They will try to take your life away. I will protect my flock, so don't be afraid. Fear is not of me. My sheep need to be ready to fight, not as sheep, but as lions. My Holy Spirit will be your guide as things will happen quickly, and you must be spiritually prepared. Never deny my name under any circumstance. The road ahead will be hard, but my children will be protected until I bring them unto myself. This will happen in due time. But there will be some time in which you will have to remain on your earth to see the beginning of the end. You must stay close to me now. I must warn you that time is short, and soon your nation will be changing into some place you will not even recognize. Death is coming to America. Research the four horses of the apocalypse spoken of in Revelation. 
they will wreak destruction on your planet. So many people, Christians included, have their heads buried in the sand, and they do not see the signs that have been so clearly laid out before them. My time is now, and soon I will rescue my bride and bring her to the place I have prepared for her. Many will accuse my messengers of being false prophets and wrong about sounding my alarm. But do not let this dissuade you from spreading this urgent message. All things are perfectly aligned in the spirit realm and on your earth for the catching away of my bride in the coming of the tribulations written in my word. This is coming much quicker than most people think, and many will be caught off guard. Your heartache will ease. Just ask. That's what I want you to do, is ask. Don't suffer alone. This is what I'm here for. Just ask. You think you can do some things on your own, but everything must be done my way. The unimaginable will become reality in many ways going forward. Now you get so caught up in your earthly life that you simply forget to call upon me or rely on me until the crisis comes upon you. This is not how I want our relationship to be. Your relationship with me should be like a young child adoring their father, not a teenager that comes around asking for money and keys to the car. You fill me up and bless me when you allow me to bless you. When you rely on me as a small child, adoring me, asking me questions constantly, and letting me wrap you in my arms, just letting me take responsibility for you and your needs, both physically and emotionally. The more you fill your life with me, the better everything will be for you. There is a direct correlation that is so easy to see and experience if you'll just give me a chance. Move away from the pitfalls of this world and closer to me. I am the I am, the creator of all things. You must give me credit for such. This is faith that I develop within you. Let me foster that faith within you. I will build your faith if you will simply sit back and say, I'm yours. Trying to force things in your life does not work. Time is not your enemy. Patience is your friend. You must see that I am using time as an instrument to whittle your heart into the shape that I want it to be, not the shape that the world wants it to be. Being patient and understanding that I am working on and in you is key. Do not become frustrated and give up. Even when you fail, even when you fall, do not quit. Just strive to enter my rest. No man knows the day or the hour, but some men think they do. And they falsely claim my plans with their human pride leading them astray and down the wrong path. Many of my servants have patiently waited and asked with childlike hearts. They know they are in the season, and they are pleased to have just that knowledge. Other people's pride has them so wrapped up in their human predictions of timing that their focus has been removed from me and put on the predictions of a special date. Do not be deceived. At this time, know that you are in the season, and with that, be satisfied. Human pride brings you beyond that satisfaction in a quest to find a day. It is not your place to know. You must love your brothers and sisters, the messengers. I have called and I command an end to the strife that Satan is placing between you. Open your eyes and recognize that a kingdom divided will fall. Calling others false when your pride is leading you to that conclusion is blasphemous. Pray for these people that judge you and ask for their minds to be inundated by my grace. Forgive them and pray for them. Pray for them to see that they trample on the cross when they prophesy judgment over you. They trample on the cross when they add to my pure and simple gospel. Pray for them, love them, and exercise the power found in my pure and simple gospel.